Yeah, right, guys. This is Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon X. In the previous episode, we got up to Reflection Cave, and our good old Esper Phil uh, evolved into Meowstic, which is super cool because Meowstic is like the best. Although we can't really stare into um, Esper's eyes anymore, and that, that kind of sucks. But anyway, now that we're here, uh, we may as well enter this cave. But before we go in there, we're gonna spray some uh, Dem Repels. We only have like two left, so. That kind of sucks, but anyway, we're going to head on here. Apparently we can't go on the bike or use the roller skate, which sucks, but... Uh, the one thing about this th uh, this cave is that there are there are mirrors everywhere. So even though this guy is staring intensely into his own eyes, he can still see us behind him, because he's a hacker, and he can just look in the mirror and stuff. So, yeah, um, we're going to try and get through here as fast as possible. Uh, I've been absolutely like so busy uh, these last couple of days um, still waiting for my car to be fixed unfortunately um, yeah my car broke down the other week and I've had to be uh, I've had to take lifts of everyone to like get to the college and stuff but college has been pretty hectic as well I had to uh, I did a uh, 2000 word assignment yesterday uh, managed to get it all done which was crazy because normally I really procrast the pro pro Procrastinate, crast, that's the word. Um, so I usually don't ever get any of my work done until like, the last second, and I managed to get like, this. I'm just not in for like two and a half weeks now, so uh, I'm glad I've got that out of the way. It means I don't have anything to worry about, and I can just record as much as I want without having to worry about um, any assignments or anything like that hanging over me. Um, which I guess is a good read. I was going to record yesterday. But instead, I uh, I did that assignment, which I'm I'm actually uh, I I'm glad I got it. Like I said, I'm glad I got it out of the way. Now I can just yeah go record and stuff, and I have to worry about it. But I think we've got the right Pokemon in the lead at the moment because these guys can't touch um, Hyrule due to him being a Ghost type. So I'm gonna use Sword Stance here. He's probably gonna oh shit, he has Bulldoze. Okay, I didn't realize that. But now, I have, to, I have to like half health maybe, so if I use a super potion, my last super potion here. Question is, will one, will one Shadow Sneak kill this guy? That is the question. He's going to use Bulldoze again to take us down to 30. I can even do half health, so we got two Bulldoze, um, two Shadow Sneaks we can use here. Actually, I should, why don't you, should, oh, you should use Aerial Ace. I are the noob. I are the totes noob. That's what I'm going to, that was a crit. God damn it, we could have taken that guy out in one hit easily. I completely forgot that we learned Aerial Ace in the last episode, we don't have enough... God damn it! Alright, okay, can we use um, Bulldo, so we're going to send out Infahawk, because he's a flying type, and we're going to dodge that round move, and then retaliate with a peck. Uh, the only problem is that this thing uh, is pretty weak, doesn't have it. We, need, we need Aerial Ace for this guy. So, a peck does like... Yeah, that vital throw is gonna do not much. Alright, we're good. Throw is actually bulky as fuck. Like shout out to throw that shit. No, um Seriously though. He's pretty um he's bulkier than any other the uh, fighting type I've seen. About actually to be, to be to be fair, most fighting types are um are pretty bulky anyway. Choose their physical defense and special attacks are probably the best way to take them out, but I'm going to switch in a fill here because I know Horlucha is a fi flying and fighting type. So hopefully a Psybeam will take this guy out. And I could use Psy Shock, but like I said, physical attacks probably aren't the best way to go when fighting a fighting Pokemon. Special attacks are the way. And it's not going to take this one out, but I'm I doubt Psy Shock would have done any more. I'm going to use Aerial Ace on us again, which isn't going to kill us, hopefully. As I say, if he got a critical hit then that would have sucked, but... Yeah. I think the reason that we're like kind of low leveled is because we got a lot of our team members at the beginning, uh, making this kind of uh, more of a challenge, I guess. Uh, we're still like the Pokemon that like in the lead are, t are typically like the Pokemon we got first are typically higher leveled. Um, no, I don't want to learn this move. But the Pokemon that we um, caught at the start are just still trying to catch up with them, and once they have, we we can. Well, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen, but hopefully we'll be. Uh, closer. Okay, so where are we going now? There's an item over there. 
We only have one repel left. We should probably not get this item, but I bet I, I if it's an X item, I'm never getting picking up any of these again. Alright, uh, Moonstone. I don't think I'm gonna have a Pokemon on my team that needs a Moonstone. Um, but it's there. If we if we change change our minds or whatever. I should probably pull out the um item finder. Okay, can't pull that out either. That sucks. Uh, this chick's gonna turn around and look at us. We should probably move Hyrule around. Um these guys quite um taking a taking a lot of hits, so I'm gonna switch uh, Charmeleon into first position here. Yo, Ace Train, I don't know about that at all. I just love Pokemon. Cool. No, you're definitely an ace trainer. Monique! What a fabulous name! It's very French! Um yeah. Do duo. Kanto Pokemon everywhere. Okay. Uh like I s well I we're we're adamant nature, Fire Fang is gonna do quite a bit. I'd imagine, yeah. We're probably better off just using Dragon Rage, because we know Dragon Rage is going to be two hit KOs all over the place. No one's got, like, eight, more than 80 HP at the moment. Unless we were fighting something with huge amounts of HP, like Wigglytuff or Snorlax, but... Uh, if we had a Wigglytuff, then we wouldn't be using Dragon Rage on it, so... <laughs> okay, almost forgot that Wigglytuff was a fairy type for a second there, but... Hey, Helioptile. Get Dragon Rage. And so I use Razor. What the fuck? How can that thing use Razor Wind? What? How does that make any sense? Take a Razor. A Razor Wind. No. Dragon Rage. Bam! To the face! Alright. And Gramble is next. Uh, we definitely don't want to be in on that because I just realized that that is a. Well, super effective against. It's Poison and Steel. Uh, we don't have any Poison or Steel moves. It's Gramble. Um, and it's probably got Intimidate now, I think, about it, so I probably shouldn't have chosen Conquer, but... We can't use Dragon Rage on this thing, so I use Intimidate, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it, okay. So our attack's reduced by a stage, I suppose... Best thing we can do is use Leech Seed right here. Someone's actually phoning me right now, so I'm sorry, whoever that is, but I can't answer the phone right now. Can you please leave a message after the beep? Like, I'm glad I put my phone on silent before I started recording. Um, what did Charm do? Did that reduce my special defense or physical? Uh, physical attack or special attack? I wasn't watching. Oh, wow. That's bad. Alright, stop calling me. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm recording Pokemon. Jeez. Nilam. Wow, I'm getting so much flinch hacks. I feel like a fag. I just... We got, we got that King's Rock, though. No, we haven't really, but... It flinches again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's what you get for being a motherfucker. Alright, my phone's flash my phone's flashing at me and it's just like you have a missed cool, Luke. Please address this missed cool. I'm like, no, I'm busy beating up ace trainers with like minus three minus two attack. <laughs> Leave me alone. Alright. Uh down or up? That's the question. Screw it, let's always go down. Let's go to the basement floors. There's another trainer here. No, she's not a trainer, is she? Oh, you star! She trained. Uh, she she healed our Pokemon. That's perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll switch back into High Rule now and level him up. Which way? Just go down. Oh nope. I was gonna say we can't actually go down. Now our repels worn off, and we're gonna encounter so many wild Pokemon now. I should have got items in the um before in between episodes, but. I can't, there's no point in me trying to fight these guys because I don't got a move that hits multiple Pokemon with them. Um, actually, I don't think I have any Pokemon that can hit multiple targets, so. Um, okay, which way do I go? Should I ask this chick for directions? I left my darling fiance behind and I came over here all by myself. Crabby a river. Do you want a medal or something? I just didn't leave Need Arena. Which we're completely immune to because poison fighting and normal types don't affect us. Apart from unless she has a. Has bite or something, but I doubt that. Let's go with the Shadow Sneak. I don't know what's going to do more damage, Shadow Sneak or Aerial Ace. But I actually, I think we tested this out. Yeah, it's got bite, and now that still doesn't resist bite. That's not cool. I, I'm not going to. Oh, fuck it. Um, let's just go to Lizardon and take this Nido Reno out. Nido Reno. Nido Reno. Nido Reno. How's that bite? That's more like a freaking slap. She's so mad at us. Let's go Firefang. I'm really scared that Firefang's gonna miss because it has like a 
chance of missing, and a uh, 95% chance of hitting, so there's a very small 5% chance that it will um, miss. And I'm always scared that that 5% chance is going to come back and bite me. Let's finish this thing off with a Dragon Rage. Bam. Alright. Uh, when do you evolve, Hyrule? Seriously. It's been so long. Hello, Monami. Now? Nope. Jeez. Okay, let's go heal our Pokemon up. Because this chick's here and I don't like poison. Poison suck, man. Now, I said I probably wasn't going to get any more items, but that item over there is taunting me and it's just like, Hey, I'm an item. Come get me. And I'm just like, I know this is going to be an X attack or something, but I'm going to go get you anyway. And these freaking hordes of Rog and Roller are everywhere. Leave me alone. I don't want to... I don't want to battle you guys. Okay. Can we even get up there? Oh yeah, we can. I didn't even see the staircase. Alright, Black Belt. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm going to give that to someone. I think that paint. Does that increase physical moves? Maybe that's the best item to give to uh, Hyrule here. Let's have a look. Uh, boost the power of fighting type moves. Ah, uh, he doesn't have. He has. Well, he has Rock Smash at the moment, so I guess we'll give it to him now. May as well. And yeah, let's go this way. I guess that was kind of a good find actually. I kind of need to look at all the items just in case. Oh hey, Chingling. Chingling. Is that Fairy type? Is Chingling Fairy type in this game? Uh, surely Chimeco is Fairy type. It's gotta be. Okay. Whoa, hey. Hey, it's Tiano. Hey, Rookie. If you use the move Flash, not as many Pokemon will... Uh, what? What, really? They changed Flash's um, use in this game. If you use the move Flash, not as many Pokemon Wild will turn up. Okay, so it's kind of like a repel in a way. So, let's... Um, can anyone learn Flash? Let's just sort these. Uh, flash... We have someone who can learn Flash. Uh, what moves do you have? Do you have anything pointless I can get rid of? Such as... Fake Out. Uh, I don't know. Fake Out can be kind of useful, I guess. But, I mean, we can always go to the move tutor later if we need to teach it again. So, we'll just get rid of Fake Out for now. And let's... Um, I've never used Flash in this game, so let's see how that plays out. Phil, use Flash. That's so cool. Oh wow! Oh wow! It makes the it makes our view bigger, so we can see where. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna find an escape robe here as well. That's pretty useful. That's cool, actually. I like that. That's that's um that's really cool. I think this guy is a sork. I think. Battle! Whoa! Man of many words, you are. Sound like Yoda speaking in backwards. Yeah, yeah, sork. Okay, so this guy's definitely gonna have bulldoze then. So, for those of you that don't know, actually nobody knows because I am hilarious. But I, um, for those of you that know Throw That Shit's channel, I kind of made a alternate account for him and made it, cool. I kind of called it Sork My Dick. Because of Throw That Shit. Sork My, yeah. Uh, Alright, okay, I'm not that funny. But <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Um, you don't need to retaliate, which looks like a freaking awesome move. Like the whole cherry, ah, oh, flame body just totally screwed you over. Actually, now that now that flame body's coming here, uh, taken in now, he's um probably take him out now. Actually, burn will finish him off, right? Nope, never mind. Critical hit. <laughs> OP. In for Hawk OP. And black belt. Despair. I see. So I can see we haven't actually encountered a Pokemon. Yeah, and this guy's gonna check me out in the mirror and have some creepy ass background music that's just gonna. Yeah, Psychic Franz. Chimeco, I have a question. Are you Dragon type? Dragon type? What? Are you Fairy type? Um. I know you're Psychic type, so let's just use Shadow Sneak. Yeah, you are still Psychic type, so you must be Dual type, maybe? I'm pretty sure still. Yeah, still resists. Still, still, still resists. Psychic moves. Sh -sh -sh Shadow sneak, bam. So actually, I, I suppose I could talk about how many um, subscribers I have now. Like, I hit 600 a couple of days ago, which is insane! 
Um, and I'm really like aiming. My aim right now is to hit a thousand before I hit, um, before I get to, um, before before it's Christmas, because that would be the best Christmas present ever. If I could hit 1k on Christmas Day, or just a few weeks, I got a week or two before Christmas Day, that would be absolutely insane. I mean, my channel growth has been really impressive recently, and I'm really happy with um with with what's happening and what's going on. But uh, I know that maybe I'm kind of being a bit too ambitious but I guess you gotta set targets for this kind of thing and you've got to try and stay positive uh, because you before um, I used to be quite a negative person um, uh, stop doing running rings around me you weirdo and I I never used to see the brighter side of things my cup was always half empty rather than being half full kind of thing and that was a huge problem and um, recently I've just taken a completely different look on life and I tell you what it's been pretty cool <laughs> to be honest um, I'm just hoping that maybe I can stay like this, and I'm hoping that um, you know if I do hit 1K before before Christmas, that's going to be a huge have a huge positive effect on me because I never really thought that my channel was worth anything or I was the stuff I made was any good. Um, but recently, I've started taking more pos a more positive attitude and just thinking I'm actually. I don't, I don't want to say I can't sound stuck up, but I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm actually proud of the stuff I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm happy with my progress, and I'm happy with uh, the videos I make, and I'm happy that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. You know, I actually want to learn Slash, but I don't want to get rid of Rock Smash because I need that, and I don't want to get rid of Shadow Sneak because I need that, so I'm going to have to quit on Slash here. Um, I'm currently at 612 or something, something like that, so, somewhere around the, six, the early 600s, and it's just like... Whoa, I didn't expect my channel to come this far. I just started this thing out as something to, to do for fun in my spare time, and now uh, it's just like people are really, really enjoying my videos. And it's like, it's so good when you make stuff for fun, and then people are just like, I really enjoy watching the stuff you make for fun. So, what you're doing as a hobby is enjoyed by other people. And I'm, I may be talking absolute shit right now, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, yeah. And if you're a YouTuber or a bigger YouTuber watching this, hi. Um, but I'm sure you know what I mean as well, because, yeah. The more of a uh, subscriber base you have, the more people that are going to... Oh, wow, Phil's going to die. The more people that are just more... Um, lost my train of thought I'm more grateful or not not grateful the more people that you notice that say like oh yeah your videos are great blah 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 sort of kind of thing but yeah pretty good stuff positivity's way forward just remember that don't get yourself on a get yourself down and stuff like I did that's not the that's not the right way to go at all hashtag life lessons with Luke Okay, Psybeam. Turn down this combi. You know, male combis are absolutely useless because they can't evolve. Vespaquen is Vespaquen for a reason. It's a female and they can only be evolved into by a female combi. Which is ridiculous. They should have a male one, Vespa King. Who oh, no. knows? So maybe combi will get a mega evolution. <laughs> Alright. I'm guessing this is the incorrect way because there's a trainer there. And the, tr the way the trainers are looking is usually the right way to go, so. Oh! Oh, okay, well, I'll take that. Uh, I'm going to skip all these trainers and get out of here because, yeah. We're in Shallow City. No, go away, message. No, go away, message. Let's heal up then. I suppose we should buy some more um, repels and stuff. Yeah, let's heal my Pokemon, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Awesome. All right, let's, che um, let's check out these two guys. Let's see what these guys are selling. Usually one of them sells TMs or something, I think. Yep. Gig, Poison Jab. Poison Jab's useful in this gen, due to the fairy types. So we'll buy that. I don't know if anyone can actually learn it, but... You know, it can be used, maybe it can be useful later. And Max Repels. Can you sell Max Repels? Sell Super Repels. We can get... Let's get 30 of them. It's good to have plenty of them Super Repels on you. And let's check... Um, poison Jab. Oh, wow! Wow, Conker, you can learn a poison move. That is great. That is that is awesome. Uh, let's get rid of Bite for that. Screw that. Poison Jab all the way. 
Get rid of them fairy types. We've got someone to take down fairy types now. That's the, that's, that's the positive thing right there. Okay, so what do you have to say? I've been mean, playing this totally sweet game recently. You play a, some cool little dude who runs around, whacks enemies to the beat of music. Is that a reference to something? I've never played a game like that, but... That's weird. Who's this creepy guy standing in the corner? Hey! How's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Barney, the expert. Oh, powers. let me ask just in case. I don't need to hear no explanation, yo. I got critical power level one. What O powers do I actually have? I need to check. Manny just creepily disappears. Reminds me of the ghost girl. Right, let's go in here. Uh, o power. Prize money, capture, attack, defense, special defense critical. I've never used an O power. Ever. <laughs> I've never used them. Right. What do we have in here? There exists an item that can change a Pokemon's ability. Well, that's what I heard, but where do I actually find one? Oh, snap. So you can actually change. Oh, wow, we got Eviolite. Oh, we got Eviolite. Eviolite is a great item. Uh, that boosts special defense and defense for Pokemon that haven't yet evolved. Um, one Pokemon... I uh, haven't fully evolved, rather. Uh, one Pokemon that we have that isn't fully evolved and probably won't be fully evolved for a while is Hyrule. So we're going to have to switch the Black Belt out of there. Boost them defensive powers. Thank you very much, sir. I was invited out the other day with a friend who recently joined up with Team Flair. He just kept going on about how Team Flair had a future to look forward to. They're pla they're plotting, plotting, they're planning, they're plotting. I tried to fuse planning and plotting together, uh, together, together, together. So I know this hiker who really likes fairy swords. It looks like he finally found love. Hey, I'm really sorry, but I'm looking for something. Excuse me. What a fag. Right. Hate you. Okay, so... What a dick. What do you have to say? If you're a trainer, will you show me how oh, you're raising your Pokemon love and care? Yeah, sure. Which Pokemon will you show me? Uh, one that's been with me the longest. Conker, maybe? Oh, it's cool. It was level 5, but when you met, it's now level 31. You've raised it well. I can feel a bit of love for you. Thank you. Hi, do you have any flying or psychic type? Or meow stick? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so using psychic to... I get it, I get it, I get it. Thank you, I'll give you this. Yay, Stardust, we can sell them for money. We have iron as well, we need to sell. What do you have to say? As you imitate someone, you'll create your own style. If you want to be strong, it might be a good idea to imitate a strong trainer. So that's a good bit of advice. Uh, I, I suppose it could be, could be a good bit of advice for YouTube. Imitate someone that's big and then you develop your own style as you go along kind of thing. I suppose that's kind of good. Um, some good... Um, Advice. So I cannot speak when my, my train of thought just disappears. Okay. Well, we're gaining items everywhere. This is why, that is why it's the best the best thing to do in this game is to run around talking to everybody. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, Rookie. How's your jo journey going? Hey, Zav. Let's compare our cultural pal cultural Kalash Pokedex and see who has the most kind of Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm sending you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 40 kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How frustrating. Get this, I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh yes, I just remember the professor told us to say hello to the Mega Evolution Girl when we reached Shadow City. That's right, he did say that. Um, who are we supposed to say hello to again? A person called the Mega Evolution Girl. Oh right, he did say that. Well, I guess I should look for the Mega Evolution Guru then. Where do you think he is anyway? I heard he's in the, in, in the uh, imposing building and deep in the city, the Tower of Mastery. Alright, well, I suppose that's where we got to go next. Which is over here, right? Let me t Oh, hello. I'm just about to get my item finder out. Rookie, check this out. A new dance? Isn't this stone cool? I got it from a person called the Wandering Stone Collector to show off my dance move. It might be a mega stone. Here, Rookie, you can have it. I want you to have it because you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember our battle on Route 5. Obtain the intriguing stone. Okay. Holy crap, that building is huge. That's the Tower of Mastery. So cool. Let's go. Let's go explore it, Tiana. Let's go. Well, I'll go call Trevs then. Go on ahead, okay? Oh. I want to be best friends with Tiana because I can totally dance too. Look at me. Look at me go. I have them dance moves, yo. Can't touch me. Right, let's, um... Nope, wrong item. Items. Stardust. More Stardust everywhere. Stardust is always a good thing. Do you have any items over here? Any over here? 
Nope. Okay. Let's continue then. Into the Tower of Mastery. Fuck yeah. Whoa. And there's this huge, awesome statue of Lucaria right here. Damn. This looks awfully like a Mega Revolution kit thing. Whoa. That was that was cool. That was cool. Oh hey. Oh, you must be Zav. Sycamore told me you would be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here for a moment, will you? Question point. Hmm, only one of you? I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Is there anyone else like with you? Oh, hey there. Oh! Who's that you're talking to, Rookie? People call me the M Mega Revolution Guru. Oh, my name is Tiano. I met Zav over there. My name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's pupils. But there are only still three of you, huh? What's th what's this now? Were you the one who found the intriguing scone? Oh, I could just... Yeah, I'm going to take the credit for this. Yep, sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one that found the intriguing scone? Yep. Yep, sure was. Nothing good... How can you tell I'm lying? It was given to me. Uh, what? It was you who found it, right, Rookie? Well, who found it doesn't really matter. What's important is that you are honest. <laughs> yeah, okay, I lied twice, but whatever. A moment being honest, that Ching Ching is not that intriguing stone is no ordinary rock. Hmm. So a lot of hubbub are out there. Does that mean everyone has arrived? I don't hear anything. Hey there, so you made it to Shallow City. Lucario is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should see what's going on too. Sure thing. You're right, guys. Hmm, looks like everyone is finally here. Rookie! Where have you been? It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, so it's been since we met up on Route 07. Mr. Mega Evolution Girl, I've been wondering this whole time who is that over there? This is my granddaughter, Karina. She's Shallow City's gym leader. So, sick ones, people. Peoples. Now that you're here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution. I know, I know. You have your Pokemon battle a lot, and then they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are certain Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon e evolve through friendship, and others evolve in certain places. Exactly, it's like the Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other evolution. Indeed. Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So, in an evolutionary like Charmander, Charmander, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard will be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. But not all Pokemon have Mega Evolution. Have a Mega Evolution, rather. There's a reason why the word, uh, why we used the tra word transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from evolution because it ends at a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves and then it goes back to what it was before? Yes, Mega Evolution is a kind of evolution, a special kind of evolution. It's Digivolution, though. No. Uh, <laughs> that said, we still know very little about it. What we know is that it requires special items, and the most important element is the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. Trust, in other words, the bond between Trainer and Pokemon. To make Mega Evolution work, you need these two items, the Mega Stone for the Pokemon and a Mega Ring, which is a mysterious... Uh, which has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since so Professor Sycamore is interested in each one of your Pokedex, I would like to give these all these items to you. I'd like to share them with you, but but just just come on, say it ready. But sorry, but presently I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item. That's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I want you all to decide among yourselves which one of you who wants to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. Oh, pass battling isn't really my scene. So Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Me, me too. It would really call, be cool, be a cool memory, but it does look interesting. But I want to complete the Pokedex first. Uh, if you if you try to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. So that leaves Rookie and Serena then. Trainers don't get much better. Oh shit! Trainers don't get much better than you two. Zav, let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, the battle gives us the opportunity to compete and see who's Vanaville's be town's best trainer really is. Let's go, bitch. Let's let's do this. Mega, the mega ring is gonna be mine. No more. Fuck. I wonder what happens if you lose. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Go for it. I will mass the mega evolution and set myself apart from the other trainers. <sighs> I can just see her turning into some crazy like person that's like really angry at me now. But we have some epic rival music, which is probably one of my favorite battle soundtracks in this game. So just gonna send out Meowstic, which is a female one. 
but we sent out Hyrule here, who's got that Shadow Sneak, which is going to be super effective, but I don't really think Meowth can do much to us, so I'm going to go with Sword Stance. Uh, Side Beam is not going to do much to us, now that we have Eevee Light as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up here, set up that Sword Stance, like so, and now I'm going to go with a Shadow Sneak. Which is easy, well I would say easily going to take this thing out in one hit, but I honestly don't know. Wow, it still doesn't kill it, but... Alright, Side Beam again, that's uh, going to do a bit of that, That's a that was a crit, shit, alright, okay. Um, that rhymed as well, Q. Um, Shadow Sneak, Meow sticks down, bam. I do apologise. Lol, just kidding. Alright, gaining me mega experience right there, level 30. We got we have to evolve at some point, seriously. Um, Alright, next is Absol. Uh, we're going to stay in here, um, even though it probably might definitely kill us uh, by using a dart move, I'm guessing. It's going to use Bite, which is going to be super effective. It's got massive attack, and it's going to kill us, goddammit. I thought the Eevee Light might pull through for us there, and we might survive, but... Never mind, um, let's send in Phil here, and you're probably thinking, what the fuck, why are you sending out Phil against Dark type, but we actually carry the disarming voice here, which is super effective against Absol, so, bam. Uh, and it's only going to do 80 damage, so, oh, yeah, okay, that didn't do much damage at all, even though it was super effective, a bite's going to do a shed load, let's just go with another disarming voice, we know that thing is dead now, so it may as well just, bam. Yeah, we need to get a better move than uh, disarming voice as a fairy coverage on this thing. That sucked. Okay, um, who's lowest level? Alright, Lizardon, you need to get a bit of experience, so we'll send you out. Alright, Dragon Rage, finish this thing off. Quick attack. It's going to do a pretty freaking hell. Uh, Absol's attack is mental. Bam. Alright, Lizardon, level 31, pow. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, next is Brakeson. Uh We only have Fire Pokemon right now, so... Screw it, we'll just go with the Dragon Rage. So... Pow. Is it Brakeson? I think it's Brakeson. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's so cool how... She oh, wow, that was awesome. She, like, kind of... That was trippy. She, like, spanned the wand around and twiddled it with her fingers. That was cool. I'm surprised Brakeson has more than 80, 80 HP though, actually, well, I have kind of just over 80 HP, so... I can't really say much, but I'm going to finish this thing off now with a Scratch. For some reason, we still have the move Scratch, but yeah. Bam. Bye, Brakeson. I'm going to gain some experience there, and the rest of the team are awesome. So, I, I lost then, and we're just like, yeah, fuck you, bitch, we get the Mega Ring, yeah! <laughs> It was so strong, I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your partners is. Ah, partners are. Between your partners are. <sighs> Losing is frustrating. You will definitely be able to mega evolve your Pokemon, I'm sure of it. There are there may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I really thought you two up uh, two and your Pokemon up were all winners. Mega Evolution is No, no, I won this. I won this fair and square. I'm the best. Alright, so Mega Stone, Mega Ring, all that stuff. And she's gonna wait for us at the gym, etc, etc. She's gonna roll to skate away like a loser. She can't do the dance moves like I can. Alright, so... Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do, after all. He said we should aim to be the best trainers and be the enjoy our journey. Here now. Shall we work to be the best trainers we can, too? Alright, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, Rookie. See ya, Shawnee. Alright, don't say bye to the Mega Revolution Guru, then, you fucking rude motherfuckers. You really don't need to go to all the trouble of comparing, every living creature is unique. But still, having everyone c to compete against uh, an aim for, for greater heights with... Oh god, I just my brain just died. But still, having someone to compete against and, and aim for high, greater heights with is, is a very fine thing. Uh, my brain's like, nope, no, we're not gonna read that, Rookie. I think you, are, you and Serena are going to compete against each other a lot and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all having all this travelling together. God damn it, it's been a long day, alright. Give me, give me some slack. So, what do you have to say? I guess Karina wants you to see it. Alright, so we have to go battle Koza. Um, so, I guess we should go to her gym. Is, that, is the gym in this place? Yeah, I got dance moves like a pro. Uh, is it up here? Yeah. Alright, so the gym is right there. And I guess what we should do really is do that in the next episode. So, we're going to heal up here. 
Boom, 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 boom. I'm, what the hell? Hone Edge, why won't you evolve? What's your problem? So what we're going to do right here is we're going to roller skate up to this gym. And we're going to sit right here. And we're going to end this episode off. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it's been kind of a short episode. Um, but I kind of want to do this uh, this gym battle in the next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a rating and a comment if you're connected to Google+. Plus. I'll probably have a rant about that in the next episode, actually. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.